So what's going on everyone, my name is Mr. Dalek JD and today has been a super exciting day for the Borderlands universe as after many years of waiting, we finally have our first teaser look at Borderlands 3. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down the trailer frame by frame to try and piece together as much info as we can get on Borderlands 3. If you spot anything that I've missed, please let me know down below in the comment section and if you're excited that Borderlands is finally back after many, many years, let me know in the comments and feel free to drop a thumbs up. Now this trailer is just full of easter eggs and secrets waiting to be discovered and the first thing we see is this strange new character that we've never seen before in Borderlands holding the Borderlands logo but it's upside down. I don't know if that's in reference to this game literally having its world turned upside down by these new characters. But as we pan out to see the rest of this scene we see two huge bandits and then a sort of sea of hundreds of bandits in a sort of religious pose almost like they're praying to the front of the stage here where these two new characters are stood on so you could assume that these could be the two new villains inside of the game but at this point it's really really hard to work out but there is a lot of just religious imagery here now if we look towards the right of the scene at this specific moment you can see a code on the right and this is a five digit code and there's five of these littered throughout the trailer which i'm going to be pointing out to you at various points. This is a 25 character shift code. I have absolutely no idea at this moment in time what this code will do, but as I'm sure many of you are aware, the Borderlands social team releases gold keys every week to unlock weapons inside of previous Borderlands games. So this could be tied to something linked towards that, something being in the older games, but at the moment we don't really have any idea, but make sure you note that one down. Now, as we pan out of this little area that we start the trailer in, we see a mask of Handsome Jack, who obviously is the villain from Borderlands 2. He died at the end of Borderlands 2, so I doubt that we'll see him again, but this might be just some significance to show that, hey, he was the main villain in Borderlands 2, he's no more because there's new people in town. And as we pan up from Handsome Jack's mask, you can see a bunch of crates with two bandit midgets stood next to it, and we can see our second shift code, which is W565T. And as it pans up even more, you can notice Claptrap behind the crates there. As we pan up, we can see two characters, again, the same two characters that we saw at the start of the trailer, which are brand new characters we've never seen before in this trailer. If you look at the female character's collar on her left, you can see another claptrap just sat there on her shoulder, which is really cool and something I didn't notice on my first watch. As it pans around, we see a bunch of turrets and flying dragons before it transitions in to show another new character. He's sporting a really nice moustache and beard there, but yeah, I have no idea who this character is. And then it transitions to another new character, and again, this is a character we've never seen before in Borderlands. If you have any ideas on narrative and who they could be, let me know in the comments. As we pan through this shot of the character in the vehicle, you can notice another shift code on the right, which is TXBRK. Then as we transition through the smoke, we see a high five between three returning characters, which is really, really exciting. At full speed, it's pretty hard to make out anyone really besides the first character, so we'll break it down for you. So the first character here is Brick, the Berserker. We've seen in practically every single Borderlands game, so that is really, really exciting. Next to him is Mordecai or the Hunter. I just think it's so cool that even in this teaser trailer, we're already getting teasers of returning characters and trying to theorize what exactly is going on with the story between these characters. It's really cool. And last but not least, I think this might be the most surprising of the three characters, as you definitely wouldn't expect it because we've never seen her like this. But this character is actually Tiny Tina. Last time we saw her, she was a 13 year old. So in this, she is now a fully grown up girl and you can tell it's her by the bunny ears that she's wearing. As we pan into the next shot we see this bandit again holding a Borderlands logo but you may have missed it but there is actually the fourth shift code here which is on a gun to the left. It's super hard to see and if you're watching at normal speed you would definitely have missed this one. As we quickly pass through we notice Sir Hammerlock there on the left saluting and then one of the biggest surprises just after Sir Hammerlock is actually Vaughn. You would never ever recognize him as that but since we've last seen him he is in a cape 
and he's got a really cool looking beard. Well, a cooler beard than what he did have. He just looks unrecognizable, to be honest. And right after him, we see Ellie on the left. And very sneakily, just above Ellie, you will notice the fifth and final shift code, which in total spells out this. And like I said earlier, I have no idea at this moment in time what that code does, so let me know if you figure it out. And then as it slowly pans away, we see a shot of Lilith before it pans away completely to a final shot where in this sort of vehicle tire in the background, we can see Moxie's bar and Moxie herself returning, which is really cool. And then we have this final shot here, which just looks absolutely amazing. It is just littered with Easter eggs and references that I could be sitting here for 10 minutes just looking at this final screen alone. But I do want to make a point that Lilith is prominent between the eyes here in this last shot. And you can also notice that the guy falling to the far right, which has a sword in his hand, is Zero. It's also an obvious reference to the Atlas Corp, who are the weapons manufacturing corporation in the Pandora market. Now that wasn't all I could find in this teaser trailer, because at 15 seconds in the top left, you may or may not have noticed a flashing white dot, which is actually giving us a Morse code message. This message says, count the sirens. Now, obviously, many of you should realize that the sirens are women with mystical, unknown backgrounds and incredible powers that are distinguishable by the tattoos running down half of their body. But there's only six sirens that can exist at any given time, as revealed by Handsome Jack in Borderlands 2. From Borderlands 2, we know that the three in that game are Lilith, Maya, and Angel. Outside of those games, you have Borderlands Origins, where the issue 2 confirms fan speculation that the Crimson Lance leader, Commandant Steel, was the fourth Siren until her death. Sirens also have a unique ability which is unique to themselves, and in the story, we only have about three Sirens that exist right now, which means that there's going to be three more appearing, and for all we know, some of the villains in this game could end up being sirens as well. But aside from the Morse code easter egg, there is also a braille easter egg that comes in at around 41 seconds. I have no idea what this is, so if you guys can figure it out, that would be very, very awesome of you. But I hope you found this teaser trailer breakdown useful of the Borderlands 3 teaser trailer. We should be hearing a lot more at the panel happening at PAX tomorrow for Borderlands 3, and it's just very exciting times. So if you want to keep yourself updated with all the latest Borderlands 3 goodness whenever we do get something else besides this teaser trailer make sure you subscribe to the channel and if you enjoyed this breakdown in any way and you learned something and you found it informative a like rating would be very much appreciated but thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one